To set up your naming system, you can add blocks in two ways. The first is by left-clicking. I'll hit Reload to clear everything. The second method is by simply dragging blocks onto the workspace. Let's set up our first naming template. I'll add an edit text block, a couple of static text blocks, and let's say length and resolution. Arrange the blocks in the desired order and remove any extras by dragging them to the trash icon. Double click to modify the static text. Hit the build button. Now we can select compositions, fill in any edit text field, and they will be renamed automatically. Compositions will also be renamed if we click on any block. Done. Let's return to edit mode and right click on a block to configure it. For instance, if the composition's resolution is 1080 by 1080, let's label it as square. And if it's 1920 by 1080, we'll label it as landscape. Close the window and press build again. Let's rename the compositions once more. You can see how the ones with these resolutions have been renamed. Back in edit mode, let's save the template by clicking on this button. We'll name it My Preset. And there it is, now in our list. We can export it by clicking Export Preset and choose where to save the file. The preset is saved and now we can share it for others to import. Let's delete the preset. Click on Import Preset and select the file. We've successfully imported it. Select Start Window and add all the blocks. Right-click on them to view all settings. Save the preset as All and select it. Press Build. To avoid adding static text for all dividers, use this field which will add whatever we write here between the blocks. Dock the panel somewhere in the interface and make it compact. Now, every time After Effects restarts, we'll see our preset choices saved and our panel stays focused on the workspace in compact mode. Let's rename the last batch of compositions. You can see our divider between the blocks. Thank you for watching and save your time.